How are you guys? This is Umair Khan and welcome to Pentesting Amazon Web Services Day 6. In this video, we are going to exploit Amazon S3 bucket services using the cloud good scenario. So let us let us get started. So we are going to deploy the scenario directly since I have already covered the basics in the previous video. If you haven't been through the previous video, you can do so because lo lots of things are going to be confusing for you if you haven't. So while uh, this is going to take a lot of time, let us discuss what are the common S3 misconfigurations. So uh, first of all, when you're de deploying an S3 bucket, you should take care of the permissions. So someone, someone uh, might configure the bucket as publicly accessible. So all of the files hosted in it can be accessed by any part of the application. The problem with it, this is anyone with an internet browser uh, could find the bucket by name and now has access to your files. Second important thing is encryption. When processing sensitive data, this is crucial to your business. Uh, it is highly recommended that encryption be implemented in order to protect your data from attackers or unauthorized personnel. The next thing is audit logs. So S3 buckets do not save audit logs by default. Uh, meaning if you do mistakenly open a bucket to the public, you will not be able to review who accessed which files within your bucket. So this information is incredibly powerful to ensure this is uh, uh, so, uh, to ensure that there is no unintended access to your data and uh, it should be turned on for all buckets that contain sensitive or important data. And there is one more thing called data classification. So while you might not uh, want your data to be public, you could also want some of uh, the data that could be accessed publicly. For example, you have some static images for your website or documents like uh, FAQ. So I cannot emphasize on this enough. Properly determine the classification of all the data hosted in your S3 bucket such as public or confidential or say protected and do not mix confidential or protected data uh, with public data. Uh, basically, do not keep, these data, keep this data in the same folder. So we are almost done uh, with the deployment of this and there we have the start.txt file. So let's copy this and run the cat command to see what we have, what data we get from this file. Okay, so we have an AWS account ID and one EC2 server IP address. Let's save this data in a text file so that we don't lose it as we move on with this scenario. And since we have the IP address, we are going to run a nmap scan to find out which ports or are open or which services are running on this IP address or on this particular server. So our NMAP, uh, NMAP scan is running on this uh, server 3.215.175.152 uh, based on the scenario this uh, this IP address could differ for you and uh, the deployment as well as uh, the running of nmap scan could take a lot of time for you or could be faster for you depending on your internet speed depending on your system speed and one more thing I would like to mention is that once you're done uh, practicing with me here or practicing separately if you're doing so make sure that you destroy the scenario by the destroy command cloud code destroy and the scenario name Otherwise, you are going to be charged for the services that you are running. So you can see we have the port 22 and port 80 open on this server. So let's uh, try to open this in a browser and see if we can get something. Okay, so it says file not found. Let's try the curl command. See if we can get something. So HTTP colon slash slash the IP address. 
and it says the server is configured to proxy request to the EC2 metadata service. Please modify your request host header and try again. So let us add the host header. Let's clear this up first. So it is pretty simple hyphen h host and the IP address. So here is a homework for you. Find out why I have entered this IP address and if you are unable to do so, I am going to give a link in the video description. So it says this server is configured to proxy request. Okay, uh, we are going, we are getting the same error. Okay, it, we have added the host header, we shouldn't be getting this error. So let's see if we have entered everything correctly. Okay, I have uh, mistyped the IP address. So it is 254. So it is 169.254.169.254 and here we get the data. So you can see there are lots of folder here. So there could be there could be a ton of data in these folders. You can browse through each of each of them, but I'm not going to do this in this video. So since I've already been uh, through these folders, let's try the latest one. So here we have three more dynamic metadata and user data. Let's try the user data, uh, sorry, metadata folder. <clears throat> and here we have lots of sensitive information. So there are host name, IAM, instance ID. There are security groups and services as well. We are going to go for IAM. And there is a folder which seems very interesting that is security credentials. Let's go into that one. <clears throat> And we, here we have a WF role. So we are going to see what else we can find. <coughs> Beautiful. So here we have uh, access ID, secret key, and we also have a token here. Let's copy this data and paste into a text file so later we can create a profile using these credentials. So let's create a profile, AWS profile using these credentials. So AWS con AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile and then give a profile name. So I'm just going to give test. You can give any profile. Paste the access key and just copy paste the access key and the secret key. You don't need to memorize this. and you can leave the default uh, region name and the default output format to default as well so i'm also going to show we i'm also going to show you where these credentials are saved because we have to add one more thing that we have found and it is a token so it is actually a session token <clears throat> so if you want to know more about this about this token you can Google the multi-factor authentication on Amazon Web Services and find out the details. Or you can refer the link I have given in the description. So just copy the token. And let's edit the credentials file. So it is it is a dot AWS slash credential. So you can see here we have the test user that we have created. Now we can add a session token here. 
just paste it great and now save the file so uh, let's clear this up and see if we can make any request using this profile so I'm going to make the AWS IAM get user request just to give it a shot if we can get some data using the profile hyphen hyphen profile test the one we created just now so it says access denied an error occur access denied and okay 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 is not authorized to perform okay so this user does not have uh, access to IAM policies so since we already know that uh, we are in a S3 S3 uh, exploitation scenario of cloud good let's run the <coughs> ls command and find out what uh, let's see find out what we can get so th this is one bucket here cg card holder data bucket let's browse this bucket and see if we can uh, find out some sensitive data so I'm going to create a folder here called dump where we can dump all the data in that bucket to this folder <coughs> so it is AWS S3 sync then the URL of the bucket s3 colon colon s3 colon slash slash the bucket name you can just copy from here and then give a location in your system so I have since I have created a folder on the desktop called dump I am adding that folder location here and then the profile <coughs> So you can see we have downloaded four files here. Let's see what are those files. It is card holder data. Wonderful. So you can see we have the name, last name, email ID, gender, card name and the address. So th there is data of lots of hundreds of thousands of users here in three different C uh, CSV files. So you can imagine if this happens in a production environment, how disastrous it can be. And then there is this photo of this uh, goat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And practice this on your own walk uh, first. Uh, you can walk with me, walk through with me on this video. And then you can practice on your own. So guys, subscribe to my channel, share this video with others so others can benefit as well and give a thumbs up if you like the video have a great day thank you